In current conflict, the Ukrainian forces are actively employing glide bombs received from the U.S. The U.S. has supplied Ukraine with two different categories of glide bombs. The GLSDB, or Ground Launch Small Diameter Bomb, jointly developed by Boeing and Saab, and the JDAM-ER, or Joint Direct Attack Munition Extended Range, manufactured by Boeing. However, military analysts and experts who closely monitor the ongoing conflict in Ukraine have been cautioning for a considerable period that the precision of American manufactured guided weapons supplied to Kyiv has significantly diminished, rendering them ineffective in accurately striking targets, primarily due to Russia's electronic interference. The Ukrainian armed forces have acknowledged this fact, which was also confirmed during their long-awaited counteroffensive launched last month. In a recent interview with a British daily business newspaper, Ukrainian Defense Minister Oleksiy Reznikov openly acknowledged that Russian electronic warfare systems possess the capability to interfere with GPS-guided munitions and HIMARS multiple launch rocket system. The minister clarified that these projectiles were initially highly accurate, but were rendered ineffective by powerful Russian radio electronic systems that found ways to disrupt their functionality. Despite being hailed as a highly influential piece of equipment provided by the U.S. to Ukraine, which played a crucial role in their previous counteroffensive in September 2022, the HIMARS system has not yielded the desired outcomes this time. Earlier this year in May, media reports indicated that Russia consistently obstructed attacks carried out by the U.S. manufactured HIMARS. They achieved this by utilizing electronic jammers to disrupt the rocket's GPS-guided targeting system, resulting in missed targets. According to a Pentagon official, there is an ongoing and constant back-and-forth struggle of attempting to counter the jamming while simultaneously trying to prevent the Russians from interfering. The stakes of countering the jamming of HIMARS rockets are particularly high because the Ukrainian armed forces heavily rely on HIMARS to target Russian logistical and military infrastructure. Military experts have long asserted that after initially being caught off guard by the HIMARS, the Russians were able to adapt their tactics to effectively counter this threat. Five sources from the U.S., U.K., and Ukraine informed CNN that Russia's extensive jamming efforts have progressively diminished the effectiveness of these systems over the past few months. Moreover, with the ongoing counteroffensive and the Ukrainian defense minister acknowledging the strength of Russian electronic jamming, it becomes a more significant concern for the Ukrainian military as they attempt to advance through Russian positions. In addition to the HIMARS, the jamming interference has also impacted the operational effectiveness of the JDAM-ER supplied by the U.S. The JDAM-ER system from the U.S. involves the attachment of a kit to an unguided bomb. This kit consists of several elements, such as a guidance package that combines a GPS receiver with an inertial navigation system, a control package, and aerodynamic surfaces designed for lift and maneuvering purposes. These additions allow the bomb to glide and execute controlled movements along its path. According to a recent study conducted by the Royal United Services Institute, or RUSI, in the UK, it has been observed that while Moscow's electronic warfare systems have been unable to completely neutralize the JDAM, their enhanced jamming abilities are impacting the accuracy of this weapon. This effect is reported to occur despite the implementation of multiple anti-jamming enhancements on the JDAM. As stated in the report, Russia's advanced electronic warfare systems are effectively overpowering GPS guidance signals emitted by satellites, thereby influencing the flight path of the intelligent weapons. This claim has been supported by leaked confidential papers as early as April 2023, which reported that Russia have effectively disrupted Ukrainian aircraft-launched JDAM by employing jamming techniques. 
As a result, the JDAM ER system has not achieved the intended level of effectiveness and has been successfully intercepted by Russian forces. Thomas Withington, a researcher at RUSI, suggested that the issue might stem from the sheer strength of the jamming signals employed. Withington elaborated that the Russian army currently operates the R-330 Zerzhetel, a jamming system mounted on trucks, which targets GPS and satellite signals within the frequency range of 100 megahertz to 2 gigahertz. It is utilized by the Russian army at the tactical level and is specifically designed to disrupt GPS transmissions. Withington further noted that the signals used by the JDAM kits transmitted by US GPS satellites fall within the range covered by the jammer. He also mentioned that the Zhetel system now has an extended jamming range of up to 18.6 miles and utilizes a 10 kilowatt jamming signal. According to Rusi, Moscow has deployed approximately one significant electronic warfare system for every 6.2 miles of front line. This extensive coverage has allegedly resulted in a significant monthly loss rate of 10,000 Ukrainian drones, which equates to around 333 drones per day. This therefore demonstrates that in addition to disrupting HIMARS rockets and JDAM munitions, the Russian electronic jammers are also successfully impeding Ukraine's increasing use of drones. Moreover, the report from Rusi emphasized that the strength of the R-330ZH's jamming signal is notably stronger than the GPS signals received from space. It is also pointed out that the closer a GPS receiver is to the jamming antenna of the R-330ZH system, the stronger the jamming signal becomes. It was once reported that Russian electronic warfare forces intercepted and deciphered Ukrainian radio transmissions. The report highlights an incident where the Russian forces were able to eavesdrop on an encrypted radio transmission from Ukrainian soldiers requesting a fire mission in real time. This allowed Russian commanders to issue a preemptive warning to their own troops. Overall, it is the significant impact of American JDAM used by Ukraine that motivated Moscow to develop countermeasures using the jamming warfare. However, it is also worth noting that Russia's efforts to enhance its electronic warfare capabilities were already stimulated by events such as the invasion of Crimea and the war in Syria in 2015, which have been extensively discussed and analyzed in previous reports by Eurasian Times. Thus, as part of a large-scale electronic warfare campaign, Russia has also dedicated resources to develop counter-GPS technologies with the aim of disrupting Ukrainian drone activities and radio communications. Despite the jamming challenges, the JDAM system remains relevant. The field of electronic warfare can be likened to a game of chess, where each move prompts a counter-move. This dynamic is reminiscent of other aspects of warfare. Consequently, the report suggests that U.S. engineers may need to reconsider how they protect JDAM in future conflicts, taking into account the lessons learned from present-day conflicts. That's all. Thanks for watching.